Why follow a pattern when you can make your own? Hi, I'm Agnes. I like fashion, I like sewing, I like creating, and I like a challenge. I found this uh, pattern in my eye candy store and it looks like a, like a lot of fun uh, to make um, and, and figure out from the picture. When I did some research on it, uh, I found out that this was a, a 1960s version of the more uh, popular walk away dress from uh, the 1950s by the same uh, pattern maker. When you compare the two, uh, aside from the, the change in, in the sleeves and in the length and fullness of the skirt, you also see a, a modernization of the closure in front. I'm going to uh, change that yet again instead of buttons or instead of a belt closure in the front i have decided to make that uh, a tie fast forward to high summer <laughs> a lot has happened i've actually done uh, all of my pattern drafting almost there um, and i i've made uh, my muslin i've tested that it works so i'm almost ready to cut fabric at this point I have footage of the entire process. Uh, as usual, it was non-linear, so much non-linear, in fact, that I feel like I, I just need to, to uh, clean that up. Um, I just started on the wrong foot, eventually got to where I needed to go, but I, I think if I start the right way and show you that, it'll be uh, a lot better. Um, so we're doing pattern drafting from scratch. Um, so there's a, uh, some things that uh, is actually is useful to have, and that, that's how I work. That's how I make my patterns. Um, um, and that is to have some blocks. Uh, a block is a, um, it's a pattern that is drawn on, on something that's dirty because you want to use that over and over again. And you want to have blocks for some basic things, and then you can uh, combine them. Uh, how you make, uh, how you get one, <laughs> lots of YouTube videos on that, uh, so you can look that up. Um, there are, there's advice on, on, from drafting one from scratch, which I don't recommend, uh, to using a commercial pattern and then, uh, tailoring it to fit you exactly. Uh, and instead of, of making the garment out of fabric, and then tailoring the fabric garment, what you do is you modify the pattern before you cut, and then you save it. Once you have something that works, this is the key. Once you have something that works and fits you well, you draw it on, on a piece of cardboard and, and you save it for other purposes. Um, so what, I've, uh, what I'm going to, what you can use for, for this pattern, uh, there's basically um, two blocks that um, are, uh, you want to use uh, one is a shirt block fitted shirt so this got to be um, actually um, when you're making blocks it's all for fitted garments you, you make what's called shells out of it that they're very close to your body and then you add ease uh, according to whatever uh, it is that you're trying to make so this is a fitted exactly follows my body uh, front of a shirt so I'll use that uh, for the, the inner shell of the dress. The inner shell of the dress, well, it, it's, a, it's a sheath. So the top is going to be a fitted shirt and the bottom is going to be a pencil skirt. And then uh, for the outer part uh, of the dress, uh, we need the back of the shirt. So those are my basic uh, the three blocks that I'm using, a pencil skirt and a fitted shirt front and back. So I got my drafting paper. Uh, I'm using uh, wrapping paper uh, per, per square meter. It's a, it's a good uh, value. 
and it's got it's got the right uh, texture for um, to put on on the fabric. Uh, so uh, this is the block. Uh, one thing to know about blocks is that they they don't have seam allowances. So I'm I'm sliding it downwards. I have room for a seam allowance at the shoulder. The neckline will change. Um, this side also will change, but this is our starting point. So I'm lining it up um, with the, the side because uh, this will be uh, cut on the fold. I have marked the location of my waist because at the waist is where I'm going to, I'm going to be putting um, the skirt. So there's the skirt block also line it up with uh, the side. And so now we're starting to have, uh, um, starting to look like a, like a, a sheath. Um, so what you want to do is to uh, trace around, I'm going to use a Sharpie, normally I would use a pencil, um, because I'm hoping it will show uh, on, on the camera. So now I have uh, that traced. So we have to, to modify this. If, if you're doing this at home and you're using your blocks to build this pattern, I would leave it like that and work on the skirt. We'll come back to, to the top. So I have a piece of pattern paper here for the skirt, uh, and this is an A-line. And again, here I'm going to skip steps, but uh, it's good to have an A-line uh, pattern and it's very easy to build it from uh, a uh, pencil skirt block. It's actually quite fun. Again, lots of tutorials out there. So you want to prepare an A-line um, block. Here's what I want to do. I want to line it up with uh, the side uh, and obviously put it at the waist. not really a block, so it doesn't have those annoying seam allowances that have to work around. So use your A-line, line, line it up at the waist, and now I have my A-line. Um, and all, I, all you need is really this part. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to pretend that this is uh, the side, but actually it's side plus seam allowance. But I really need that curve right now. So I'm lining up the uh, middle of the A-line with uh, the side of the pattern paper. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, trace that. And then what you want to do is to flip the uh, A-line skirt to line it up on this side here. What we're interested in here uh, is uh, the, you want to have a dart. So again, trace the side until you join and then also trace the top. So the top, I'm just going to go ahead and trace it in solid line. And extend it. Okay, so now we have something that's shaping up. Uh, this here is what I'm interested in. Uh, this is going to make a dart. So, so that's one side was, and where this side was. So those are, those are the both um, both sides of the uh, A line skirt. We'll, we'll make a dart. So this is your starting point. Uh, after that, there's a, a lot of trial and error. <laughs> Believe me, I went through that. Uh, so what you, what you can do is to um, cut this. And right now, this is going to have more fabric than you need, which is good because you can always trim uh, your pattern. So go ahead and 
uh, transfer this to a, a muslin, uh, uh, like a cheap. Uh, I'm, I'm using, I use old sheets for that. Um, so put that on, a, on an old sheet, uh, cut the neck as it is. Now you'll want it, you'll want to modify it, make it a scoop neck, make it deeper. But for now, put the shirt neck, uh, cut the shoulder. You, you won't need all of the armhole, but just go ahead and cut that and cut here. Uh, here we have something like a sharp angle going on. We don't want that. Uh, so as a first go, uh, just curve that over. Out here, this goes like behind. So uh, for now, just uh, maybe take your A-line. Where's my A-line? enough. You may decide not to keep all of that. Uh, and you can also use your, the length is going to be set again later, but you can use your A-line. Trace the bottom as well. And uh, my cat is playing behind the camera. <laughs> I was afraid he would lock something loose, but it's okay. Um, yeah, he uh, <laughs> he walked in here earlier uh, from outside with a field mouse, nice and alive, screaming in in fear. So I took it. I took it from him. <laughs> I set it loose outside. So now he's playing with the toy. Next time, we'll draft the back of the bodies and do our first fitting with fabric. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.